wonderful afternoon. So today, I'm very excited about today's video. Actually, I'm excited about every day's video, but today I just opened up uh, my Commandante C40. Uh, it's called a Mark IV. Okay, so they have a different version, so Mark III for, I mean, they have a Mark III for over the years, and so this is a new one, just came out last year, I believe last year or year before. So this Mark IV, this matted black, as you can see, it has a glass jar as well, the smoke glass jar with uh, comes to Mark IV versus Mark III, it's not that different, okay? So only thing difference is uh, I think Mark, Mark IV has better color se selection, but other than that, pretty much the identical, okay? Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. If you have a Mark III and Mark IV, yeah, let me know, okay? If you have any, is there any difference because I've been talking to Justin and the Justin has a Mark III and and they we waited actually waited on the scale. So this gonna you know I'm gonna oh, without the handle okay, without the handle and jar just the body alone. You are looking at 420 gram okay 420 gram, and the uh, Justin told me that his one is around 400 gram or so. I'm not quite sure. It's a slightly lighter, but overall pretty much the same. And then as you can see, it's all metal inside as well. So that's plastic. Okay, inside is plastic. Uh, I did an unboxing video on it, so it should be uploaded by tomorrow morning. So you get to see the unbox. Okay. Ah, oh, actually, Da Rock just mentioned the Mark IV has the... Here, let me, hopefully you guys can see it. So the B, uh, Mark III has a little bit of slot there. So you got sometimes the beans get uh, stuck. With the Mark IV, they fix that issue. So you don't have to worry about beans getting stuck in the middle. So again, so this is a brand new. So I got this one from 8 ounce coffee uh, in Canada, but I think that shipped out to all over the world. So if, if you guys are curious about it, I'm gonna link down below. Actually, if you buy from 8 ounce, I, I do get a tiny commission from there, okay? I'm part of their associate program, so yeah. If you know support the channel, make sure you click that link, okay? Uh, what else? You know what? L let's make some coffee. Okay, well, here's what I'm gonna do. I already, I think I set this one at like what, 30 clicks? I think pretty good grinder setting for, I'm hoping, we're gonna use triclet this afternoon. Okay, we're gonna do it using the triclet. The great thing about the triclet, I can use 10 gram at a time, so. I already measured that 10 gram here. Uh, let's see here. So this afternoon, I'm gonna be using coffee from Mesa, Arizona. Okay, it's called Pears Coffee. Uh, tasting note is Pinot, honey, and blueberry. So I did try with the EK43 last week. It was okay. And then it's, uh, obviously EK has very larger bird set, very clean. It's not that exciting. Comes to flavor wise. But uh, before we're gonna start, what I'm gonna do is I have all coffee beans here. It's about 17 gram, kind of like light to medium roast. So I, I want to, I want to somewhat season because I haven't done anything and I haven't done anything. So this is the brand new. You get to see the first time. I'm going to be grind this coffee here. So, so I'm gonna do the initial season here. I got 17 gram in. You know, I'm gonna time this. Okay, I'm gonna, let's find out how long it's gonna take to grind 17 gram. And by the way, I was talking to uh, Brian, the Ryan. Uh, he told me that he has a Commandante, uh, I think a Mark IV as well. He can grind 25 gram, the espresso size, the grind size in like less than a minute. So talking about speedy, okay. He's really fast, so. Let's find out how long it's gonna to take to grind 17 gram. Uh, a grinder size, I think I, I'm at number 30, okay? So I think I'm pretty sure I'm at number 30. Here we go. Oh, Ryan said, he didn't say that. You said what, minute? You said minute, right, Ryan? So I'm grinding 17 gram here. So this is like a initial seasoning. You know where? So this is my first time grinding right now. 
I'm at 30 seconds. Okay. I don't know how I don't know how he does it though, because uh, with the espresso, even finer than this one. So, so this is like poor oversized. Man. So I'm at 52. No, I'm still going, guys. I'm at minute right now. I gotta keep going here. Minute and seven seconds. Not yet. 14, here we go. Nope. I'm at minute and 20. Here we go, minute and 20 to grind 17 grand. Whew. That's crazy. Goodness. I think I'm gonna a couple of clicks finer. Okay, about two clicks finer. So at this point, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put about five grams of the Pears, uh, Pears coffee here, so I want to flush it out to order coffee, okay? Kind of like flush it out here. Okay, keep going, still going here. Goodness. So this is why I'm not a big fan of hand grinder, okay? It's a lot of work to make a good coffee, so. But uh, Commandante is known for really good flavor, so. All right, I think you are still going. Man, here we go. All right, I'm just gonna top it. I think we are good guys. Okay, so let's grind some coffee beans. <clears throat> 10 gram ready to go. And the water is ready to go as well. So we're gonna be using triclet this afternoon. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do uh, another 10 gram here. By the way, if you are just joining us for the first time, you get to see me uh, grinding some coffee beans right now. It's the first time brewing it. Man. Almost there. Okay. By the way, if you have a Commandante at home, let me know how you think about, you know, let me know your thoughts about this hand, uh, hand grinder, okay? You guys like this hand grinder or you don't like it? Love to hear your thoughts on it. All right. Okay, here we go. The, uh, according to Justin, he's watching from Discord right now. He said he loves it. So I'm just going to top it. All right. Trickle it. So I'm going to be using reused paper, okay? I don't know about you guys, but I do care about the environment. So just going to put the paper in. All right, let's get going. I'm going to change the viewing angle for you guys. There we go. Start with, I'm going to wet some paper here. Just make sure everything is on nice and uh, saturated. 
So we are doing the 10 gram. <clears throat> All right. So we just grind coffee from Commandante. Exactly 10 gram guys. Comes to retention. I mean, they're pretty good. That works really nice. I have to say. Here I go. So the recipes are pretty simple. I'm going to do first 30 gram. And then I'm going to wait about 30 seconds bloom. And then after that, go all the way up to 200 gram there. And then we should be good to go. There we go. Now, I'm going to go all the way to about 200 grams of water. That's it. It's that simple. Uh, 1 to 20 ratio. And after that, I'm going to just slight uh, swerve here. Okay, just nice and easy. That's it. Usually take about, what, five and a half to six and a half minutes. So that's what I'm shooting for right now. Hopefully we're going to have some delicious coffee this afternoon. In the meantime, let's talk about the coffee grinder, the Commandante. By the way, if you have a Commandante at home, I'd uh, love to hear your perspective on the grinder because I mean, as you can see, I have a quite a few grinder right on the top here. I have a, a San Anthony Industry, the right hand grinder. I have a Easy Presser, uh, the J Max as well. I have a grinder from Gnome Core. I have another budget grinder. And then best of all, I do have a blade grinder too. Okay. I do have uh, the blade grinder as well. So uh, that's the kind of like the, the manual grinder somewhat. The black grinder is not manual, but still. And then, obviously we have, you know, EK43, the really large birds, and we have Niche, P64, so, I mean, again. So, but so far, I have some best cup of coffee with Commandante over the years, so I cannot wait to try this coffee, okay. Oh, then we have an Angel, uh, mentioned to me that I love mine and only used for pour over. Yes. So if you are looking for, goodness, coffee here, using for espresso, I do not recommend it. Okay. I do not recommend espresso on Commandante. Not because it's not good, because it takes forever. I know Ryan begged the differ, but yeah, for most of us, it took me last time like three minutes to grind the espresso size grind. So it takes a long time. Okay, right now I'm around uh, three minutes and 30 seconds right now. Because I'm kind of like, again, three minutes and 30 seconds is too fast, okay? It's too fast. So I think I gotta definitely adjust next time, at least a couple more clicks finer. Definitely, definitely about a few more clicks. I'm in the four minute mark there. Yep. Because I want to be around uh, five and a half to six and a half minutes. Uh, if you're just joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to live streaming. Uh, we are doing the simulcast with the Discord uh, right now. So uh, if you guys are interested, 
join our Discord, just uh, I'm gonna put the link down below. Okay. Uh, Scott mentioned uh, UC40. Yep. Again, the pour over is really good for C40. <coughs> you got you got four minutes and thirty seconds. Four forty. So just under five minutes. Okay. Just under five minutes there. Maybe like one more click, maybe two more click at the most. Yeah. Two more clicks. So I think we are good. So about five minutes. There we go. So let's try this coffee. Okay. We got Pensive uh, mentioned, I want to buy C40, but does it worth it? Or should I stick with Easy Press, uh, what, Q2? Uh, you know, I have not tried with that one yet, so. Man. Smells pretty good here. Because uh, I recall with uh, EK43 last time, very extremely clean, but it doesn't have the range. It's a bit well balanced coffee, but hopefully this C, uh, C40 give us the, the different, uh, kind of like texture profile. Cheers, guys. Okay, smells pretty good. Man. Okay. That one minute makes a big difference. Definitely, I think I need maybe like two more clicks finer. I think definitely two more clicks. Right now, I'm a uh, two more click shy. So I'm going to go counterclockwise to get a, a finer setting. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go one, two. So this is it right now. So this one, I'm gonna count the number right now. I got 13, okay. I got 13 there. So I got 13 clicks. So I guess it was like 17 click before, 15 or, yeah. So I'm gonna go 13. 10, 11, 12, 13. So yeah, so this is, uh, I think this is pretty good. Next time I'm gonna be using, you know what? Let's do that one more time, okay? I'm, I'm very curious. I don't know about you guys, but I'm very curious about the coffee here. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do one more brew, okay? Is on, let's see here. Let's we've been on for what last few minutes right now. So yeah, uh, if you if you don't mind hanging out with us for another what five minutes. So let's brew one more time. I'm really curious about the, the it's gonna be any difference in the flavor, the changing the grinder size. So so I'm not gonna be reusing the coffee grind here. I'm just gonna clean this quickly and then uh, let's brew one more time and then see is there any difference in flavor okay so we just uh, brew at 15 clicks on Comandante and then we are going to go down to two more clicks finer so Hopefully give us the better flavor. All right. If you guys are just joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to live streaming. Okay, here we go, guys. I'm very curious about the, the adjustment in the grinder size right now, so. If you guys are watching this after live streaming, just fast forward, okay, this section here. I'm just gonna simply put the filter paper on the bottom.
I, I'm just going to use a, just a plain cup here this time. Meantime, we're going to do another grind, uh, 10 more grind here. That's all again. So this is a great thing about uh, using triclet because you don't have to waste a lot of coffee to get great coffee. So, so we're going to do one more time. All right. So right now, so one before we did a 15 clicks. Now, now we changed to 13, so two more clicks finer. So I'm hoping to get another minute extra uh, extraction there. Another minute of extraction. We're almost there. Man, I'm telling you, this is the one bad thing about manual grinder. You gotta work for work for your coffee. All right, I think we are almost there. Oh, not yet. There we go. Okay, almost there. I'm just gonna warm up my paper and cup. So we are going to do exactly do the same thing as the last time. About 30 seconds blooming, followed by, and then uh, just go all the way up to uh, 200 gram. Just gonna make sure everything is nice and flat on the bottom. I'm just gonna shake it. All right. Okay, let's get going guys. Here we go. I'm going to do the first 10 gram. Go all the way to 10. I'm sorry, 30 gram blooming here. I'm going to wait about, about 30 seconds. Okay. And then I'm going to go follow by Pretty much you're gonna do, uh, put the rest of the water in there. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way to 200. You just go, just freely. 200. There we go. And then give it a little, a uh, little shake, okay, guys. Give it a little shake. All right. That's it. And then we're just gonna wait until everything is draw down, okay. And then hopefully, you're gonna have some good cup of coffee. Okay, so let's try this one one more time. Again, I mean since uh, flat, okay. Little flat there because definitely under extracted. <clears throat> but with uh, the grinder size adjustment, hopefully you're gonna have a better. Okay. Let's see here. <clears throat> I know Brian is a commandante fanboy. I mean, he does love. I mean, you know, the thing, the thing about the Commandante grinder, people love it, okay? They have a, entire communities out there, you know, I know Justin loves Commandante, I know Ryan does. I bet you Angel loves the Commandante as well. Let's see here. 
Then let me know if you are a fanboy. Uh, if you are a fanboy, okay. And I am big fan of it. Okay, I, I'm big fan of Commandante as well. So there's something about. I mean, something about this grinder. Because uh, their burr design is so unique. I think they're one of one of a kind design. Because they're the only kind of like one only company that they design their own burr geometry. So they give you that different flavor. So because if you go with like uh, J Max or J Pro, somewhat I don't want to say I, I don't know the right word for that is. Very similar, okay, grinder to grinder, so. With the Commandante, obviously, it's a completely different design, which means give you that different flavor as well. <clears throat> okay, we are into four minute, uh, three minute mark, just past it. And just keep going. Let's see, we got, goodness. We have a whole 35 people watching right now. Make sure to join the live chat, guys, okay? Make sure you join the, join, uh, join, uh, join the live chat. We have a great group of coffee community here. So, you know, just hang out with us for a few minutes. And then, uh, by the way, what is your favorite pour over? The method, okay? Love to hear from you guys. Love to hear from you. Hold on, we have uh, Brian. Hey, welcome Brian, okay? Man, it's the first time to catch the live show. I don't know about exactly a live show. So more like we are just hanging out in the afternoon. So right now we are at four minute mark, guys. You got four minute mark here. As you can see, we got some. I'm trying to get out uh, between five and a half to six and a, six and a half minutes for trickle. So we have obviously we got the triclet. We got the, I have we got the next level as kind of like full immersion method, got high yield extraction, and also uh, you know what we are going to play with the stack X. Well, uh, I, I, we have to modify the stack X. I'm gonna shout out to Mike. So Mike uh, actually he designed stack X. <coughs> Here we go. So he got a stack, we have a stack X here. He designed this, it's called Filter Smasher, okay? So different type of brewing method, not traditional stack X, but yeah. This is also a very interesting method as well. So goodness, we got a lot to, we got lots of toys to play with. We got counterpoint, uh, pull up a Hario switch. Yeah, that is also a pretty interesting method too. I have not tried that one yet. That's something I love to try that too. Okay, we are at five and a half minute mark there. Man, I think uh, number 13 is right on it, okay? So 13 on the Commandante for our tricklet recipe, okay? Using 10 gram, 13. So by the way, I don't know how many of you are actually having a little note Keep track of your recipe, so I highly recommend it. Because sometimes you don't remember, you know, which grinder size we use for what, uh, which uh, different types of coffee. So let's give you that starting point. I got about six uh, and uh, six minutes and fifteen seconds for this. Uh, Setting at number 13, okay. All right, so let's try this coffee here. Okay, so let's try the one before, okay. Okay, somewhat flat. So this is what we changed the adjust uh, uh, grinder size. Let's find out what kind of flavor we're going to get. Cheers, guys. Oh. 
Okay, I can uh, definitely taste more blueberry, pops more. Definitely pinot as well, the grapes. Yeah, you know what? <clears throat> the 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 change in grinder size make a big difference in the taste. Okay, now I can taste the honey too. So, I mean, I have to say, comes to side by side because I, I play with the EK forty three last week with the same coffee. I think I prefer. I have to say, I prefer a coffee from. Uh, Commandante over EK43. I mean, that's okay. So, again, the EK43 just a 98 millimeter standard burst set. So, I mean, I love to try. So, next one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be a head to head Commandante versus the MP burst here on my DF64, the multi purpose. I think I, I, I want to do blind taste. Uh, should be a lot of fun. Okay. Should be a lot of fun. And definitely, this is good. Okay, definitely this is good. Anyway, it was a little long today, longer session, but I mean, you get to see the kind of like how to change the grinder size, a grinder setting on your Commandante at home. I'm gonna look at, uh, look at your questions. Okay, we got Stack X. I mentioned about the Dot Rock. Brian, okay. I mean, again, so I mean, Clever, the switch, the Hario switch, and Clever, similar brewing method. Man, they're, they're easy to use, just like Tricklet. That's another reason I really enjoy using the Tricklet method because they're so easy. So you just you know, do the initial bloom, put the rest of water in, make sure, check your grinder setting. You should be all good to go there. So you, you're going to have some really good coffee. Plus, with the Tricklet, I, can, I only use about 10 grams of coffee instead of 15 to 20 so I mean if you like to save coffee I mean trickle is you know another option anyway I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon and I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow morning